ITL Trainer Talk. Today we're speaking to Scott Paltos of New Jersey-based Parabolic Performance and Rehab. When I think about Parabolic, I think about the facility's take no prisoners approach to the combine prep arena. Until about five years ago, I didn't even know about Parabolic. However, since then, I've seen them sponsor all-star games, radically increase their profile at the combine, and aggressively use social media to spread the news about Parabolic. At present, they're doing great work at six New Jersey locations, and they also sponsored the 2017 <coughs> ITL Combine Seminar. Today, we're talking to Scott Paltos, who will lead Parabolic's Combine Prep Program this year. Scott brings a full skill set as he's a former college fullback with NFL camp experience, so he knows the power side of the game. He's also an expert on CrossFit and has competed professionally in that discipline, so he knows endurance and versatility. And finally, as a veteran of Combine Prep, he's well-versed in explosion and speed enhancement. Scott, welcome to Trainer Talk. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good. Doing great, Neil. Thank you for, for having me. I appreciate the time today. Pleasure, man, man. Honor to have you, too. Okay, so first question, Scott. You're an established name in the training world, and you've owned your own gym. What brought you to Parabolic? Um, let's see. I mean, you know, like, the, the, the coolest part, you know, I've, I've been around for a long time. Um, I, was, I was blessed and lucky enough to have a, a great – start in the career, you know, I guess strength and performance career and, and working with athletes that eventually moved on, had my own place for a long time. Sure. And I was really missing the, the team concept, the ability to have multiple people, you know, working in establishments, working in facilities. And, you know, it was kind of like, I felt like I was missing something, you know, it'd been about 10, anyway, 12, 12 years since I'd really been around other coaches and trainers on a regular basis right. outside of, you know, a little bit of, of, of consulting and stuff like that. So getting back to working with a team, getting back to working with, you know, multiple, multiple structures, multiple places, multiple facilities, you know, kind of really elicited a conversation that Dr. Matt Cifelli and I had, you know, over a year ago and uh, took about six or seven months for us to, to figure out the best way to to go about it and next thing you know I'm wearing the, the black green and yellow. <laughs> gotcha okay yeah. cool I know Dr. Matt very well he's a good guy. Yeah all right, definitely. All right. so Scott you come across an intense competitive high yeah. trainer uh, anyone who's watching this can go and google your name and you've got YouTube videos on proper uh, bench form uh, technique and that kind of thing and you know it, it really just comes out of you. Um, is that energy an extension of your personality or is it something that you try to translate to the energies that you work with, to the athletes that you work with? I, I mean, th there's, there's kind of like, you know, it, it's one of those like two faced superheroes I try to play, you know, where sometimes that, that energy needs to be there. Sometimes that attitude or, or motivation that that needs to be a part of the coaching concept, you know, and other times, Neil, you need to really kind of, you know, lay back, listen and watch and, and kind of critique from a distance. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, there, there's no doubt. I mean, my intensity is, is definitely pretty high on a more regular basis than anything, but I, I think it's really dependent upon who you're working with and, and really what the individuals need. Um, not just kind of like what, what my mood is for the day. Um, and, and I think I, I kind of pride myself in, in being able to establish that depending on where we are and what we have to go on, you know, do for the day, what we're trying to accomplish and what our goal is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you're pretty much right on, bro. I mean, like I am, I am a little bit high intensity. And, uh, you know, I think it parlays more into just the way that, you know, I played ball, uh, the way that I've competed, you know, I mean, everything, like you said, from CrossFit to, to powerlifting, to strongman, to, to playing, you know, until I was in my young twenties, like it's, it, it's part of my persona slash, I would say just personality. Sure. Sure. No, I get it, man. I get it. All right. Last question. And probably the toughest one of all, Scott, you've been in the training arena for decades now and you've had a variety of experiences you've worked with a lot of upper echelon upper tier athletes in a lot of disciplines who's the favorite athlete that you've ever worked with in in all that time and all those arenas um I mean listen I, I I certainly have a an affinity for football I mean I, I laugh with everyone when I tell them you know like football is my life for you know a good 15 16 years Sure. And, you know, of course, you know, if, if for people who do follow me now and, and follow what I do, I play baseball still competitively. You know, baseball was like my love. Football was my life. Um, as far as athletes, um, you know, I could bring it towards, you know, I guess because we're talking a little bit about NFL combine prep and, and stuff like that. I, I would go, there was, a, there was a linebacker that I had in the early 2000s. Um, he played out of Howard. Um, he, was a, he was a small school guy, you know, maybe a little undersized. And, uh, Tracy White, he, okay, he ended up 
playing, playing for Seattle for a few years. He, I think he bounced around a couple times, but he was with – played the league for a bunch of years, and he was just one of those kids that you just saw such a drive, such a focus, and, and it took – and the reason why he was one of my favorites is because it took about two weeks – before he said more than three words. <laughs> and, and, and the coolest part about it was, you know, a lot of people didn't think Tracy was going was gonna to make it because he was undersized. But, yeah. you know, I mean, he ran disgustingly good numbers. You know, on top of it, like we all know, you still need to have film. And he had great film, you know, coming out of Howard. You know, again, a small school guy. Like, trust me, I've, I've had guys from Michigan, USC, Miami, you know, right. guys who were all pros for 10, 12 years. But, you know, like Tracy just had that little it factor. Mm -hmm. And and the, and I'll say the reason why you know he was kind of my favorite, the one that I always you know still occasionally get a chance to talk to. Um, he said to me after two weeks, turned around and and I was young, I was still a couple of years in the industry, and he just looks at me and I go, Tracy, are you about to say something? And he's like, shook his head, and I'm like, oh boy, like I literally was like, I was frozen, Neil, I was frozen. I was like, okay, this is this is like a, a breakthrough. And he goes, I'm getting faster. <laughs> And I took a look at him, and I'm like, that's it, Trace? Like, that's all you got right now? And he put this big smile on his face, and I just said, you're getting faster. What's that mean? And he goes, I'm going to play in the league for a few years. That's what and it's all about. That's, what it, that's where it is, man, and that's where it is. And you know what? He, he played for a few years, did a great job, and, and you know what? Like, he, he always resonates with some of the guys that I get to work with year in and year out. And I kind of tell him the Tracy White story. And I give him all stories about guys that I've worked with. But, like, he, he's, he's that one kid that, like, I still, to this day, like, just the, the way that he took his approach. You know, this is, darn, this is 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it just was, it just always has stuck with me. Always has stuck with me. It's amazing to me, having done several of these <laughs> interviews at this point, that the bond that a player and a trainer can build in just six to eight weeks, you know, yeah. I mean – it gets it gets real in that gym during that time when you're training every day, and mm -hmm. you know it just they really forge some some strong unions there. Um, it is it, it's, it's it's a really cool thing. I mean, there are guys I still talk to, you know that 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 you know it was like you said, ten twelve weeks tops, and then maybe I saw them in a couple off seasons in a row if they weren't yeah. across the country. But you know it's it's a very serious time. I know you, you say it all the time. You talk about it all the time. Like this is the largest interview of their life. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's a one-time thing. It's not like you're going for another job interview. Like, you got one chance at this thing. That's it. You know, and, and sometimes you can come back over and do it the next year in some capacity. But really, you, you know, when you're working with, with kids, you know, they're, they're kids, and, and you're trying to tell them or help them and assist them to, to the largest interview of their life where it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a one-time show, man. It's a one-time yeah. show. You got it, man. It's a turning point. Yeah, definitely. All right, so, Scott – What's the best way for an agent or a player or a parent or, or whoever to find out more, more about you and more about what y'all are doing at Parabolic? Uh, GoParabolic.com is our website. There's a ton of information on there. Um, you know, as far as all your viewers, everyone who sees this, Scott at GoParabolic.com is my email. Um, feel free. You know, you search us online. Call any of our facilities, and, and the phone calls will either lead up to myself or, or Dr. Matt or, you know, even Steve. Uh, Steve Froelich, our other, other owner, um, you know, and kind of our, our face of our business. Um, mm -hmm. But any, any of those avenues, you know, come check us out. There's, you know, we, we've had some success over the last few years. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, with the addition of, of what I can offer as well, I think we're, we're going we're gonna to go above and beyond this year, even further than what we've been able to do the last, you know, five, six years. Sure. All right. Looking forward to it, man. Dynamite, great. thanks so much for your time. Scott, I appreciate you, buddy. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Neil. You do the same. We'll